How would you like to feel that confidence knowing you have 100% control over your ability to place that perfect, consistent toss to generate that effortless serve every single time? If that's you, you're gonna love this video because we're gonna cover the three most common toss mistakes, exactly why they happen, and empower you with exactly the drill of how to fix it. We're gonna start with the third most common mistake and close with the number one most common mistake and fix. So let's jump right in to mistake number three. When you serve, do you feel like you're having to chase a bunch of really inconsistent toss? Or when you toss, do you feel like at contact, you're just not tapping into your highest levels of power, but it rather feels like it's coming from the wrist or the forearm, then you are gonna love this common mistake, which is that when most players toss, they either are gonna toss too far to the right or conversely, too far to the left. And the ideal toss location is going to occur where from the release point, if we pull out the best servers in the world, you'll see that they all, from that release point, have their toss arc and travel slightly towards the inside of their body. The reason why that toss location on the x-axis is so powerful is because it allows you to tap into the maximum amount of power from your shoulder joint. Whereas conversely, if your toss is too far out to the right or too far out to the left, it's going to create overly tense wrist at contact or you're going to be completely out of position to generate that perfect contact point to give you that biomechanically optimized power going forward into the serve just like that. So the key way that you can fix this mistake is by ensuring that you're releasing at the perfect location where I'm gonna go ahead and put a ball in my hand right here. Well, you'll see that now when my arm is releasing the ball, it's at approximately eye level. Now, to be even more precise about exactly where you should be tossing on that x-axis, I would highly encourage you to check out our latest video on the toss, which you can click, or for the most comprehensive online system ever designed to give you world-class serve technique, you can click the link in the description to watch a free video to learn about my transformative course, the Serve Transformation System. So, with that frame of exactly where you should be tossing, the exact step-by-step -step drill to follow to give you that perfect located toss on the x-axis every single time is first you're gonna go ahead and set down your racket where your strings are gonna be positioned in line with your front toe slightly inside the court about six inches to one foot so if you see from my release point my ball is gonna have to travel slightly towards the left to land right on that target so this is automatically gonna give you the optimal feel for exactly where to toss now to correct this mistake what you want to focus on doing is controlling for where you release. So in this first part of the drill, you're gonna just get situated with your arm position right above your front knee, and you're gonna focus on smoothly raising up your arm and then freezing right when you see that the ball is at about eye level. So this is that visual checkpoint that's gonna empower you so you know with 100% confidence, got it. If I'm releasing with the ball right at eye level, I know that ball is gonna travel in that perfect location to then Boom, give me that perfect contact and feel that total control and confidence. So the checkpoint to focus on smoothly raising the arm up, stopping. Then after you can consistently do that, what I would highly encourage you to do next is now close your eyes, raise your arm up, stop, open your eyes and validate if you can achieve that checkpoint. Because see, the whole thing that's so amazing about tennis is that we are essentially designing and generating greater levels of control over our body. And the most common mistake that players make when they're trying to improve is that rather than focusing on their body, their kinesthetic sensations, they'll put their focus elsewhere. As a result, they won't break through. So the key element is not to just understand logically where you should be tossing, but ultimately how that should feel in your body to achieve that checkpoint perfectly every single time to get that optimized release point. Again, if you want to learn more about a transformative system that'll put that in your unconscious muscle memory, click the link to learn about the serve transformation system. So now we've covered two variable drills that you can do inside this of slowly raising, closing your eyes, raising up. Now you're going to focus on tossing at full speed, trying to achieve that release checkpoint and have that ball travel in and try to land right on that racket in front. 
And the key element is if you find yourself making a mistake or you're not able to consistently hit it, just maintain that learning mindset. Have fun, enjoy the drill, and as a result, you're gonna start getting more and more results. So you might at this point be saying, Grant, I am releasing at eye level, but my toss is still going too far to the right or too far to the left. What's my mistake there? This is the other common mistake associated with the x-axis, which is that players, when they toss, they will create what's known as wrist flexion. Wrist flexion. So an amazing psychological trigger that I found to be highly effective is to shift your whole mindset predicated around how you toss. Where rather than actually thinking of it like a toss, think of it like a release. Like you are gradually, smoothly, and fluidly releasing the ball from your arm. Whereas rather a toss kind of implies that flexion of the wrist. So the key checkpoint to focus on now that you've mastered the eye level toss release, now focus on after you let go of the ball, ensure that your palm stays in a neutral position. By keeping your palm in a neutral position, it's going to increase the consistency because in essence, you're reducing the variability of your hitting arm structure as you toss, which is basically just a fancy way of saying, by doing less motion, it's easier to time. All right, world class athlete. So we've now covered the third most common toss mistake. Let's now dive in to common mistake number two and exactly how to fix it. Does your serve feel kind of mechanical? Does it feel off rhythm? And is sometimes is it really difficult for you to time your serve? Well, then you're gonna love this common mistake, which is that a lot of players, when they toss, they're not able to consistently generate the right height on their toss or the right y-axis. And this is because when they toss, they're either tossing too fast or they're just using their left arm or non-dominant arm to toss. Whereas if we look at the best servers in the world, what we'll find is that when they toss, they're not just tossing in a vacuum, but they're simultaneously raising their arm up, shifting their weight forward, laterally tilting their trunk, getting into a springed, coiled, and loaded position uh, that allows them to not only have consistency with their toss, but be in that prime biomechanically leveraged position in series of checkpoints that allows players and servers in the future you to be that player at your club, boom, that can just crush consistent serves and feel amazing while doing it. Now, before we dive into this common mistake, there's so many checkpoints to master. In fact, in the serve transformation system, I've mapped over 17 key anatomical checkpoints just with this one wind-up phase on the serve alone. So if you want to master that and take your serve to the next level, I'd highly encourage you to just click that link in the description where you can watch a free video to learn about the world's most comprehensive course, the serve transformation system. So how do we fix that toss height? The key way to fix to get that consistently placed height is to first know how high we should toss. The key element that every single top server in the game is gonna do is they're going to time their contact point to be situated with right as the ball reaches and comes down beneath the apex. So the apex is the point on the toss where the ball is traveling up, gravity beats the force going up, and then it starts going down. So the ideal place you make contact is when you're serving, as you toss, to time your contact such that as the ball reaches the highest point, right there, it should be having right when that ball starts coming down. So the way to perfectly time that is in this specific drill, where you're gonna focus on getting set into the 17 key checkpoints that we cover in the serve transformation system, tossing, and then fluidly time your contact so that right when the ball starts coming down from that apex, there. And it's just a simple, fluid, easy checkpoint, there every single time. Once you get comfortable with achieving that optimal height, you then want to add the entire body sequence. Where the main thing to focus on here is rather than tensely raising your arm up, focus on those key checkpoints we covered in common mistake number three of keeping the palm in a neutral position and focus on as you toss, toss by bending and by tilting your trunk to the side, all to give you that ability of fluidly gaining that perfect height and that relaxed toss to give you that ability to generate that perfect contact. Ah, just like that, oh, that felt so good. Even though it was long, it felt amazing because I was achieving all those key checkpoints. So now we've covered common mistake number two and number three. Let's now close with the number one most common serve toss mistake and exactly how you can fix it. Let's go.
Have you ever experienced wrist pain on your serve, shoulder pain on your serve, or back pain on your serve? Then it was likely that you were making this common mistake. Now, the key differentiator between the average serve and the great serve is the z-axis of the toss, where if we look at the best servers in the world, we're all going to see from a side angle that they make contact with their trunk and their arm positioned in front of the body. By achieving contact in front of the body, that's what empowers you to feel super effortless and super strong and powerful when you serve. Conversely, and I made this common mistake too, and I actually suffered from a lot of back pain, which is that my contact would be too close to my body and it would tighten me up, it would constrict me, I would get low back, really horrible sensations, and it was just because I didn't know this one mistake and how to fix it. Which, exactly how to correct this mistake is to simply toss more inside the court which is hinged and predicated off of the arm traveling away and inside towards the net. So the optimal best drill that you can follow is with your toss, focus on performing a few shadow swings, feeling your arm travel as it goes up towards the net and inside the court. You can even release a few balls to really feel that arm go forward. Let's go and magically place another ball in my hand right here. After we've gotten comfortable with getting that toss in, the second part of this drill is toss significantly far in front of you, lean in and strike the ball going down inside the court. That's going to automatically force you to start driving it more down. Again, if you want even more comprehensive follow along drill videos that's going to transform your serve technique, click that link in the description to learn about the serve transformation system. Once you get comfortable with that Z axis in front, then incorporate it into your full toss, generating that perfect contact in front of the body ugh, to give you that amazing sensation just like that. All right, world class athletes, that concludes this video. I hope you have so much inspiration. You're feeling so confident, so ready to step out on the court. As always, it's been my blessing and honor to be your coach. Maintain that belief in yourself to develop world class technique because whatever you set your mind to, you can achieve. I'm so excited for you to click the link in the description to learn about the serve transformation system, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's go.